Hello everyone! Today I want to show you how to edge fabric with cut work embroidery. The thing is, that last time I showed you the review of the white dress made of this fabric. I've showed you how it was made and promised to teach you to edge such fabric. We always edge such details with cambric. Natalie will show you how to do it. I want you to be able to make such amazing dresses. I really hope that you find my tutorials useful. I remind you that to edge round details, necklines, armholes, yokes, you need to cut fabric on a bias. For details with straight edges, bottoms, flounces, you should cut fabric on a crosswise grain. Cambric stretches a bit crosswise and it doesn't stretch on a bias at all. Do not cut fabric on a lengthwise grain. It should stretch, but not too much. We'll make a pretty wide binding. We need to measure and mark 4 cm on the stripe. Of course, usually we do not use pencil, but we do it now for you to see everything clearly. The width of the stripe is 4 cm. It depends on the detail you need to edge. Notice how Natalie irons fabric. I remind you that this stripe of fabric is 4 cm wide. Natalie folds 1 cm to the center on each side. Have a look at the way she pins edges for ironing. It's amazing how many different techniques we show you. How to edge different seams and fabrics, how to make inseam pockets, how to make lining, and so on. You already know a lot of useful techniques. I hope that you use them. And I also hope that you have already moved from theory to practice. It makes me really happy to get positive response from you. Next we need to fold the detail in half and press it once again. Notice that one side should be 1 mm longer than the other. Natalie, please, press it once again. We don't have a pressing meat at hand, so we'll press the binding this way. The binding is ready. Have a look at what we are doing now. Open the binding this way and make sure that the fabric edge is right in the middle. I want you to have a look at what we are doing this way. I hope you understand that not only such cutwork embroidered fabric with holes can be edged this way, but any fabric with cutwork embroidery. Have a look at the stitch detail. The edges are hidden inside the binding. This is the only way to edge such fabrics. It's impossible to overcast them or stitch with an overlocker. Now you know what to do.
We got a four centimeter wide stripe of cambric because the holes are pretty big. You can cut narrower stripes, three centimeters wide, for example. Natalie ironed the edge, and this is how it looks like now. I remind you that when we folded the binding, one edge was a bit wider than the other. Here it is. This is the wrong side. Now Natalie will show you what to do next. We need to press the edge close to the wrong side. You do not necessarily have to make one side wider than the other. It's just that Natalie has a huge experience, so she knows some hewn secrets. We are taking the edge to the wrong side. I am happy to share some modern sewing techniques with you. This is the last thing we need to do. Natalie stitches the edge to the wrong side. The width of the seam is 1 mm. This technique is very useful and items made this way look absolutely amazing. When you stitch the edge, you need to iron it once again. Imagine how a flounce edge this way would look like. Absolutely amazing! That's all for today. Natalie, thank you so much. My name is Paukštirina. Guys, please subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos and press the like and the bell buttons. Thank you. Goodbye.